Good morning, everyone. I'm telling you right now, this is a Monday morning, bright and early. The sun hadn't even come up over those trees yet, but we're back at it again. We're ready to go fishing. And I got some old Louisiana boys down here and happy to have them. Got Hiram Hale. Now, that's an old fashioned name, Hiram, right there. So, you know, next time you have a kid, you might want to think about it. Hiram's a good name. <laughs> I think this is his net. This is your nephew right here behind me. It's Tim, and then we got Gage over here, which is his son, right? So they're all related. They're all they're all family, and you know what I've said before about these old boys from Louisiana. We can't call them crappie today. We can't call them, we can't call them white perch. They got to be socolate. If you're not familiar with that term, you need to go down to Louisiana and find out all about it. I'm gonna tell you something. What I've learned. I'm 63 years old. And I've always liked Texas cooking. There's one state in the United States that has better cooking than, Louisiana, than Texas, and that's Louisiana. Them people down there know how to put fiddles together. I'm here to tell you. So that's enough of that. We're going to go fishing. So come along with us in your, as you sit there. I hope you enjoy today's program. This is Greg Finn. And remember, this is Camel River Guys Service. is up there is a keeper too. Two more. I might as well put them in a the boat. What do you got there? Keeper? Oh, maybe, huh? It'll be. See, when you raise up like that, he come after it. Now, yeah, you probably raise up just a tad too much. He's on it now. He's on it. Okay? He's swimming with it. <laughs> He swim with it. <laughs> that is friggin' outrageous. <laughs> what? <laughs> See how I took, I told him to take, take, I'm gonna take a picture. Took it out of the little one's mouth. Yeah. Told him to go down and get that right there. That's pan optics for you. I'm gonna get a picture of that right there, buddy. Yeah, I didn't even that's getting up there pretty good right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Just dance him on top of the water. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Got him, baby. Woo! Yeah, baby. I ain't this one I'm talking about. See there, folks. Lake Sam Rayburn crappie right there. I'm 
rod, but I really don't know how many we got. We're close. I got us at 72. But Hey, this trip is just about over. I'm fixing to show you a box full of fish, but we're on my last brush pile here, and I want you to look at how many crappie are on this brush pile. Now, I'm here to tell you, now I'm going to move the transducer this way, and now I have really moved it over. They're still way down there. They're everywhere from, what, 9 feet down to 14 feet. I'm going to move the transducer back this way. That's the value of how I got it rigged up on my pontoon. I've almost got it behind me now. I'm right in the middle of a big bunch of crappie. And you can see how many there are here. There are literally hundreds on this brush pile. There you got it. Fun, ain't it? Yes, sir. You don't like that something's wrong with you. Woo! I got your picture yet? No, sir. That's a pretty good one. Right? He's long. That's, I mean, I've seen you catch bigger ones, but dang old. You ain't got one on. There's one. See what I mean? They're bigger. There's your big crappie right there. That's what I'm talking about. Put you on them babies right there. There's both here. That ain't, that ain't no brim, is it? What about that, buddy, real? Now, people, if you don't like that right there, I'm telling you right now, something's wrong with you. Look at the shoulders on that big black crappie. That crappie there go ever bit of a pound and three quarters. Nearly push, maybe a little bit more. This bunch from Louisiana just came over here. It's about noon time, and there's 75 crappie in the box right there. That's a good way to start a, a week. This is Monday morning, and they've got 75. I bet you we caught, what you guys, probably 40 or 50 more that were too small. Had, uh, the action was phenomenal. But uh, you can see those are really nice crappie. Most of them blacks, a few, a few whites. And uh, there's old Gage right there, and, and Tim, and Hiram. And, uh, they're going to wind up here. They're going to take their fish back there. They camped over there not too far. And, and, and they're going to take these fish back and clean them. I'm going to the house, take a shower and eat lunch. And I'm going to take me a nap. That's what I'm going to do. And because uh, it's starting to get hot out here. One thing about it, you got to realize it's not too bad in the mornings. When y'all think about September and October, I mean, or uh, July and August, you think hot months. Well, it is, but it's really hot in the afternoon, not really in the morning. So if you want to come out, I'm booked for the rest of uh, August. But I got some dates of September and October. You need to get on that calendar, www.camelriverguideservice.com. Or you can call me, 936-229-2370. And I'd love to take you out and uh, bring them kids if you want to. I had kids last week. We had a ball. So if you want to bring your kids out, that's fine too. We'll make it happen for them. So uh, enjoy fishing with you today. Hope you have the rest of the evening real good. Until then, keep your powder dry and your lines wet. This is Greg Finn, and this is Camel River Guide Service. See you later, folks.